guys from Barbara and welcome to my channel. Today we will prepare the easiest keto cookies. You will only need three ingredients. They are delicious and ready in 10 minutes. So let's go together to prepare these peanut butter cookies. And here you can see the three easy ingredients. The main one is peanut butter, of course. If you prepare it by yourself, it's so much better. I bought this that looks amazing anyway. It's organic too, 99.3% peanuts, and it has 48.9% fat, 25.6% proteins and 7.6% carbs. To prepare these cookies, we will use four spoons of peanut butter, two spoons of sweetener and one egg. This is a volumetric recipe. It means that your peanut butter should have always the double volume of the sweetener. So if you use four spoons, it's two spoons of sweetener. If you use eight spoons, it's four spoons of sweetener. But if you use eight spoons, it's also two eggs. So pay attention to volumes. I've just put in a bowl four very full spoons of peanut butter. So now it's time for the two spoons of sweetener. I will put just one because I'm trying to keep low our sweetener. But I have to tell you that with two spoons, these cookies taste better. So you decide. I also have to tell you that you should use powdered sweetener. So I don't have powdered and I will create it by blending my granulated sweetener. I'm using erythritol. If you want to be sure that your sweetener is ketogenic too, just check the calories. All the sweetener with zero calories are also keto. And now it's time to add the last ingredient, our egg. This is how the peanut butter with the sweetener and the egg is looking before mixing all together. You will notice that the change will be incredible because it will become like a dough, like exactly the dough that you use to prepare cookies. It seems impossible, but you will see how it is at the end. Remember that our peanut butter has 7.6% carbs because all nuts contain also carbs and you should be able to choose them wisely on a ketogenic diet. In fact, Brazilian and pecan only have 4%, macadamia 5, hazelnut, walnut and peanut 7, but pine nuts 9%. Almond 10%, so pay attention also when you use almond flour. I have to say, unfortunately, that pistachios has 18% and cashew 27%, so we don't need these last two. Okay. Our peanut butter cookie dough is perfect, so it's time to prepare little balls that will become cookies. If you will use a spoon for the quantity and your hands to prepare the little balls, it will be easy and very fast. If you have a kid that can help you to make the balls, it will be even fun. I like to prepare these doses because with four spoons of peanut butter and one egg and the sweetener, you will get around 18 cookies. They are small because you know we cannot eat too many of them and maybe your kids will have two or three and so you don't have to tell them no because it's not a huge one. And also because the oven tray will be perfect. You can put one tray with these 18 cookies and they will have space between them. It will be simply perfect. I highly recommend you to do this quantity. 
talking about the oven, it should be preheated at 175 degrees Celsius, that are approximately 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So the oven should be on before you put this tray inside. Then the cooking is quite fast because they will need only 10 minutes in the oven and they will be great. They will taste and smell incredible. While I'm finishing my little bowls, I want to talk to you about the walk that we will do after the recipe. Don't miss it, because today we are going to the Fotografiska Museum in Stockholm. And now I just flatten all the bowls and they look much more like cookies. So we finish decorating them using a fork. This is a super easy decoration, but they will look like true professional cookies. While decorating, I have to ask you a favor. I have many subscribers from Italy. I know my English is not perfect, but if you like my recipe and you would like to share the recipe in a Facebook ketogenic group in English, you will help me growing. So I really will appreciate that. And I also appreciate all the comments and all the suggestions to improve my recipe and to try new ones. So thank you all. And now into the oven at 175 degrees Celsius that are approximately 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 10 minutes, you will have this perfection. Hope you like today's recipe because those cookies are amazing and i also hope you will all subscribe to my channel and also click the bell so you will know that every monday at two o'clock italian time i will upload another video but also on wednesday in spanish on monday in english on wednesday in spanish and on friday in italian so see you next week and thank you And here we are, as promised, at the Fotografiska in Stockholm. Here we can enjoy Miles Aldridge Exposition. I love these photographs because it's really fashion oriented. He started in fashion in Vogue Italy and also because he's really very colorful and happy. You can see some of these pictures here and I hope you will enjoy them too. If you are so lucky to travel to Stockholm or if you live here, you can enjoy this exposition until the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. So don't miss it, you have some time and it is totally worth it. If you like colors, this place is the perfect one for you. And I have to thank my husband for capturing my emotion watching these pictures. He has been great with these two slow motions and I was very happy to have some memories. The quality of the video is not the best because the photographiska is quite dark, but the memories are definitely the best. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I like pictures, I like taking photos and I also love colors, so you know that this place is perfect for me. But if you don't know my Instagram, you should definitely go there and watch because you will find more than 3000 pictures with the keto recipe written down below and you don't have to listen to my accent i wrote them in english but it's really simple so even if you are not english speaking like me you can definitely understand them they are all easy recipe like the one you can watch here on my youtube channel you can find me with my name barbara minati 
but also with my nick LCHF underscore Italian. That means low carb, high fat, of course. So I'm waiting for you on my Instagram too, and I hope you will like my pictures. And this is how Miles Aldridge see women in the kitchen. I love these pictures, but don't expect anything like this on my Instagram account. Also, motherhood for him is really high fashion, beautiful and colorful. I know this is not real life, but sometimes we need to dream. So let's dream with these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> 